Yes, everybody. It's Sea Will. I know it's been a minute. I have not uploaded in almost a full week, and there's a lot that's been going on the last couple of days and going back to last Wednesday. So I just want to let y'all know and give y'all a rundown of what went on. Thankfully, I'm back in my real house. I'm back to work, and I just wanted to give y'all an update and let y'all know how this happened. By the time y'all watching this, it's probably going to be Monday or Tuesday. And I am okay. I do appreciate everyone that reached out to me and asked how I was doing. That y'all are praying for me. I appreciate every single one of y'all, and thank you for your concern. And but I'm all right. Um, you know, there's I'm there's a lot to be thankful for. I could have been way way worse than it was. So I'm just thankful that I'm here walking and back to work. So now I'm going to give y'all a rundown of what happened starting with Wednesday. So on Wednesday. I was helping out my mom shoveling some ice at the front of the apartment for one of our friends. And then from there, I basically went home, washed my car, and actually put a little bit of a car edit before I went to the gym to reunite with my bro Peter. I haven't seen Peter in a couple months, and he's actually doing quite well at basketball. And we went to the gym, we we're just going to shoot around, do some drills and stuff like that. But things ended up turning sour, and... Basically, I almost broke my leg. We were going to play to about like 5.30 because I was going to go to church that night. And basically, it was one of the last drills we were doing. We were doing some fast breaks. I'd drive from the left side of the basket, do a float or a pull-up shot, and he would try to defend. So this one that I went to, I have not been to in four years. And the bleachers they have there are metal, and they're right on the out-of-bounds line. And I terribly misjudged how close it was to the court. So me going full speed, you know what I'm saying? I should have been more careful and I should have been looking out more than I was. So when I did a floater, I was just watching because I thought I was going to go in. It kind of rattled off the rim. And while I was doing that, I kept running like I was going to run to the wall because I assumed the, the wall was there. But I forgot that there was bleachers there. And yes, this is what happened. It was one of the worst pains I've ever felt. Like, I just heard the clank, you know, I hit right on my leg, right up on the metal bleachers, and I kind of, like, fell off of them. And, you know, I was just in, I was just shocked. It hurt so much. And I was just looking at my leg, and I just saw, I see this hole in my leg. I'm like, dude, I really messed myself up. And honestly, I thought I broke my leg at first because I couldn't stand up. And Peter's like, yo, try getting up. And I'm like, I can't get up, bro. Like, I literally couldn't get up. It, And I thought I broke my leg. And I saw the bone in my leg. I'm just like, I saw, like, part of my bone in my leg. And I was just, I was just in shock, dude. Like, it was, it was not fun. Basically, after about 10 minutes, Peter was able to get me a bandage. And it was bleeding a lot. So, he helped me up. I was trying to get to figure out what to do because I didn't know how severe it was but at the same time I'm like I might have to go to the hospital but I wasn't sure so I went in my car because he had to leave and I went in my car and was like man how am I going to drive so yeah that was a mess so my mom ended up picking me up from the house and she took me to the urgent care to see what was going on now I could sort of walk but it was like really painful and I was trying to keep off the leg as much as possible. The day that I hurt my leg, it was bleeding for about four hours straight. It would not stop bleeding. It just kept bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. And it was just a mess. Uh, <laughs> it was a mess. And also, I ended up getting a tetanus shot as well when I was at the urgent care. So after about four hours at the urgent care, they came to the decision. It was too deep and too big to stitch together. So basically... I had to get my leg wrapped up and I couldn't, I didn't have time to get x-rays done. So I had to get x-rays done on Thursday instead of Wednesday night. And yeah, it was just really hard to walk. I was told by doctors not to walk the next two days and I didn't know how severe it was. And it just hurt because it was like right on the bone almost. So I felt like I may have done a little bit of damage to my bone. But I wasn't quite sure. So my parents were at work on Thursday. So my grandparents actually took me to get x-rays done in Shelby on Thursday. Thankfully, the x-rays showed that there was no breaks 
but it was very close. Basically, I had a big bruise on my bone. But nevertheless, I'm very thankful that it wasn't a break because if it was, then I would not be able to work and make money and pay them bills. You know what I'm saying? So Thursday, I still was trying to keep off the leg. I did the same thing Friday. I just stayed at home. I was trying to do a little bit of exercise to try to stretch the leg to see um, if I could do a little bit more with it. And then on Saturday, I ended up trying the bicycle out to make sure it's all right. And then I was supposed to be going to the Dirt Vision Studios on Saturday for the Volusa race for the World of Outlaws late models. But it turns out that that got canceled. So I ended up going to work at Anisio's. I still have a hard time like bending down and like crouching and stuff like that. But I've, I've been gaining my strength back in my legs. So praise God. And Sunday, I went with my parents to meet my sister to surprise her for her birthday. And I want to give her a shout out on this video. Happy birthday to my sister. And it was an amazing day and just a lot of fun being able to go see her again and enjoy the weather and the beautiful views of driving. And on the way back, I drove without any problems. So my leg is good to go. I should be able to get back to more activities as the week goes on. It isn't hurting as much as it did. But it still hurts a little bit, so I'm trying to keep off of it as much as possible when I'm here at my rental house. But yeah, I just, I'm just very thankful that it wasn't much worse. On Saturday, most of my coworkers are like, what are you doing here? Like, some of them were quite surprised to see me walking in there, but I was just hobbling along a little bit. But, and because, man, it, I was just, it was just, whenever the injury happened, I was like, come on, you know? Like, I was just, I was just like, does, is this really happening right now? I was like, I'm going to be out of work. I'm, I'm not going to be able to pay them bills. You know, I was just, I was just worried for a man. I was just in shock to see my own bone and to see my leg in that manner. But, you know, I'm very thankful for my parents for helping me out. Peter for helping me out as much as I guess he could, uh, in that situation. I do appreciate my parents for helping me out, um, during the situation, help me with bandages and, um, help them get me things when I couldn't walk. And then same thing, my grandparents, you know, I'm very thankful that they were able to take me to get x-rays because my, my parents couldn't have it because they couldn't take off work. So what I'm going to do for this video, I just want to let y'all know everything that happened this past week and how the injury occurred. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I've probably showed some pictures in there that may be made you a little queasy, but I hope you enjoyed Please hit the like button and please subscribe if you're new. I'm on the road to 500 subscribers. I'd really appreciate it if y'all share my channel with everyone you know because I'm trying to get to this goal as soon as possible. Thank y'all very much for watching to the end. Y'all are the real keys and it's the next time. Uh, they love it when I turn off the bass. Peace.